What's up guys, Upward here and this is Wildlife YouTube channel and here we are with day 20 of 30 days of code and today we are discussing sorting. Alright, I don't know why our people making this looks very hard though it's so dang easy, okay? So let me show you. What is sorting? So in this uh, challenge we should be using the bubble sort algorithm okay so what is it if we let's say we have we have a, number, a list okay and in this list we have like number two number three and number one and we want to sort this out okay now usually you can use the sort method in python but here we should implement uh, uh we should write the code ourselves okay so what we'll do is use the bubble algorithm. What is the bubble algorithm? It would come in the first index or in the first number. Okay, this is two by the way. I'm sorry for my handwriting, but anyway, or my mouse writing. <laughs> anyway, so this is two. So it would come check this and check the number after it. So this is three. So it would come, okay, all right. So which one is bigger? Three is bigger. So what we would do is Pass by since this is the second number is bigger, so we're cool. Then it would come to this number and check it with the number after it. So now we have the three and one. Which one is bigger? The three is bigger. So now it would swap this and get the one in here. So now we would have a list that looks something like this two, one, and three. Now we'll iterate. Now we'll compare again. We'll get to the beginning of the list and compare this with this one. Now 2 is bigger than 1, yes, so we will swap, swap them. Now we will be able to, we would have like 1, 2, and 3, and now we have a sorted list. And that's exactly it. So let's see how we'll implement this in code. Leave all of this jargon, 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 shall I say, okay, and just after we uh, after we implement this uh, algorithm, we should just print the amount of swaps we've done. So an example here, we did one, two, that's it. Okay. So if we if we would print for this, we would have two swaps and the first element after sorting and the last element after sorting. We'll have the first element as one, the last element as three. Let's jump into the code editor. So first thing, we want to loop through the list. So we will do for i in the range of n. That's the first thing. Create a variable and call it swap counter. Swaps counter. Make it zero. Then we want to loop through the range of n minus one. We'll explain this in a sec. But long story short is when we come to compare, we will compare this. So for example, if we are at the two, we will compare this and the number after it. Now, if we got to the end of the list, for example, three, and we want to compare it, sorry, if we, yeah, three, and we want to compare it with the one. Now, if we are at the one, it would want to compare it with the number after it, but there's no number, so it would cause an index error. So to avoid that, we go, like step back with the length of the list. So then we want to check if array, okay, we have array in A. So if the first, the item uh, I, uh, sorry, G in the array is bigger than the item G plus one. So basically what we're saying is, is the item we are currently in is bigger than the item after it if that's true then we want to swap them which basically what we did here so when we compare this with this the three was bigger than the one so we swapped so how do we swap them you say you write the a a g okay index g and a index g plus one equals a index g plus one and a index g so now a the index g plus one the value of index g plus one would be stored in the index g and the index g plus one would be 
would equal the value of index G. If that happen, if that happens, we want to increase the swaps counter by one. And yeah, this should be it. Let us check to make sure we want to print the list now. Let's run the code. Now, if, if the list for the two test cases is sorted, so you can see our output. Come on. Index error, out of range. J plus, okay, not I, sorry. G plus one. So, load the code again. Okay, so as you can see, our output in the first test case is one, two, three, and in the second output or in the second test case, it's one, two, three. So both are sorted. Now you just need to add those print statements, which is array is sorted in threes and x swaps. Okay, we'll just put those. Use print method. Convert it to string, and instead of this three. We're gonna just put here the swaps counter and in here we're gonna print the first element which is a stringed version of the first element in the array and in here we'll print the last element which is a string byte version of the last item in the list. Yeah, and as you know, minus one gives us the last element on the list. And we have sorted it out, so we'll get the last item. Okay. What's this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, spaces. It's always about spaces. Remove this, 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 this. Run the code. Yep, that's it guys. Let's submit the code. Congratulations! Yo, that was awesome guys. So yeah, thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Peace out.